YouTube. Okay, so this is a very special video for me. Um, this is a haul video, and I don't normally do haul videos. I do deals and steals, and I'll explain the difference in a minute. But this video is very dear to me. Okay, so I've been convicted. I had like a revelation. No, nothing spooky. No angels came down and, you know, spoke to me. Nothing like that. But I did have a moment and um, a moment that I could not deny. And so maybe a couple months ago, I wanted to create something and I didn't have what I needed. And I thought, wow, after 10 years of crafting, after 10 years of accumulating this and accumulating that, I couldn't believe I did not have what I needed. And I think it was a lettuce stamp <laughs> that I didn't have. And I thought, wow, I should have everything concerning gardens because I love to garden. I keep a garden every year. And so anyway, that really bothered me. And I was ashamed about that. And, you know, we could so easily get caught up in shopping and clearances and deals and steals and getting something because somebody else have it that we can neglect to buy those things that really characterize who we are or that really showcase you know our showcase us and the things that we like and so what I did was I, I had to really assess what I was buying and how I was crafting and so there are four areas that are very dear to me and I'm showing this haul because I want to share with you guys those things that really represent who I am. And I want to make sure that I am well stocked in these areas. And those four areas are my first being my faith. And in no particular order after that, gardening, the kitchen, and uh, sewing. Now, it's funny because I have a sewing machine, I have an embroidery machine, and I have a serger, but I am not a seamstress. <laughs> I just like, I like what that represents. And so, in this video, I'm going to sh be showing you guys what I have been purchasing the last couple months in those areas. Now, you're not going to find much in the area of faith because I do have a lot of things in that area and I'm always adding to that. Now... The difference between deals and steals, well, deals and steals are things that I buy that are really, really, really cheap. I don't necessarily showcase things that I get outside of what I consider to be a deal and a steal. Even if it's on sale at Joann's, I normally don't show it. I show things that I hope that are accessible, like things from Tuesday morning or Big Lots, the thrift store or whatever. It has to be like a really good deal. But in this video, these are things I would not show in my deals and steals video. And so I'm so excited to get started and it might be lengthy. <laughs> and in no particular order, I'm going to be kind of everywhere as I show you guys these things. And so I'm going to start off with this must have stamp set. Let me tell you, if you drink tea or coffee and if you like donuts, you have to have this set here. I got this from Joann's in March when it was 50% off plus 20% off. And so I got it for a really good price. It's called Twirly Girls. And they have, check out the donuts. I fell in love with it. Layered donuts. Okay, and then you get your coffee cup and then you get a coffee pot and then you get layered flowers in addition to all these sentiments daughter mother grandmother sister and these up here this was a fabulous buy and this might be ice cream i'm not too sure but this is a must have um set i paid 750 for it but i think amazon has it for 10 bucks and i love it i actually made donuts darn it i don't know where they're at okay so i picked up this this is a fiskar stamp i think i got this from joann's and it's Concerning tea, I love tea in particular, two different types, being free, and one is vanilla almond, the other is a chai tea. And so I got this, also from Amazon, and just right were these baking labels. This is a nice size set. This is big. I mean, look at my hands. Nice size. 
So you get these nice labels. And then I picked up the coordinating die that you can use with the labels. This die only goes with this stamp here, which you could put any of the images there. I was hoping it came with that one too. I have to find that one. But I love the set. Okay. So it seems as though I got more in this area. But okay, anyway. Now, okay. So I ordered from Paper Tray Ink. It had been several years since I ordered from Paper Tray Ink. And so I. <laughs> I think I wanted to make a seed packet too and I didn't have what I need and so I went crazy I probably ordered anybody who offered a seed packet I purchased it and so um but paper tray ink they have what's called the year of the flower collections and you get a flower well there's 12 flowers and so I picked this set up I did play around with it and I don't have any examples there's also some sentiments there and you know if I oh, you, actually let me show you this these are the flowers that you get right here and I think they have these flowers in the larger sizes as well so you get 12 flowers and I also have the coordinated dies that go with this set the flowers were $24 and the dies were 30? I don't I don't remember and so yeah that's kind of expensive but because these are things that I absolutely love and I can't see myself partying with these things I don't mind paying full price for things like that and I tell you this revelation that I had um, it really guides me now concerning what I buy I'm very careful I actually went into Tuesday morning several weeks back I went in three times and I didn't purchase anything and the store clerk said oh my goodness you came in here twice and you didn't buy anything I'm calling headquarters so I, I'm just very careful because those small purchases they add up and I rather make my big purchases for things that I know represent what I love and so I order from W9 W plus 9 I have another order coming from them but this set was so cute it it's their pretty peonies and it's a nice size set I love stamps that have the layers because you could use all three one or two and I have the coordinated dies and I realized with the stamp companies their prices are their prices are kind of similar and so I forget how much these were but I think together they were they were I forget how much these were but I think together they were about 30 bucks oh and I also purchased the this mini set of the flower titles that goes with this set from paper tree now just right on Amazon and this was like half price I picked up a poppy flower set poppies are my second favorite flowers sunflowers are my first and just right they offer digital cuts that coordinate with some of their um, their icons and things like that and so this set actually I need to go purchase it it's in my basket and it's 99 cent and so I'll be able to get coordinating cuts that goes with this so red rubber very nice okay so I'm getting more into my seed packet I went crazy I hadn't heard of this site called kitchen sink stamps uh, let me tell you she has some cute stamps here's my lettuce I got my lettuce and I think I even got another lettuce stamp but what's great about these stamps are they're layered and she has four stamps that you layer together to get that perfect peach or perfect lettuce and I tell you I'm still mastering the peach but I got the lettuce figured out and it comes out looking so realistic I absolutely love it I wish she had um, dyes that go with her stamps she actually has a coordinating digital die cut too but I don't think with these so I need to go back and get the tomato and get the berries but um, actually this should have been in my vegetable section this is not for the seed packet though you can use them for the seed packet 
So these are some dyes. I'll get to those later. But I also keep an herb garden and realized that Spellbinders had some herb dyes, basil, sage, and lavender. And you know what? I did cuts of these and I threw them away. I should have kept them for the video. But they're all similar in that you get the same size pot, but of course you get the different herb. But you get a steak in each one. And then you get like a little, I think these are flowering flowers here for the seeds. So really, really, really cute. I have all of these in my garden as a matter of fact. Okay, so just right again. This came from Joann's. It was half price and 20% off. Love it. Get a little seed packet here. I love this watering can and their clear stamps. And Just Right also offers coordinating digital cuts that goes with these. So that's great. Okay, more herbs. And they have thyme, parsley, sage, and rosemary, which was great because this one didn't have basil and it didn't have lavender, but they both have sage. So I was happy to get these along with this. Now, more paper tray. This is the seed packet stamps here. It's called Garden Variety, and it costs $24. You get two sheets of stamps here. You probably can't see. And then you get a CD case. So when you pay 24 bucks for your stamps, you usually get that CD case, and you get two sheets of stamps. But I can't wait to open it and play with it. This set... Um, Darn it, you know what? I'm sorry, everybody. The images are still in here, but it's called Garden Variety, and it has the stamp for the actual seed packet. And then it has those are gloves there, it has a watering can in there, some sentiments in there, a stamp that has seeds. And so, I'll definitely share this with you guys when I start making my seed packets. So also from Paper Tray Ink, and by the way, I do have the coordinating dies that goes with this set as well. Okay, so uh, I got more lettuce. <laughs> I think this one has lettuce. Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay, so this is their vegetable garden set, and you get a lot of veggies. This is how the veggies look. You get peas and carrots and radish, asparagus, some of those hard to find vegetables, you get that. And I like because it's layered, so it will give you a more realistic look. And I also have the dyes that go with this set. Yay! Yay for the lettuce! Okay, so probably one of my favorite or my favorite die cutting company outside of the steel roll manufacturers, I would have to say X Cut. I tell you, you really get value for your dollar. I purchased this from Amazon and I paid I think $18 for it. Joann's do have these so you can get them for $13 when they're 50% off. But I don't mind paying full price for these. Let me just show you all that you get. You get a lot of stamps and I mean dies. This rake and you know, I was trying to figure out what is this. Maybe it's uh, you layer it with the shovel. Yeah, probably so. But you just get a whole lot. Check out this lawnmower. No, this is the wheelbarrow. This is the lawnmower right here. You get everything. I mean, this whole, all this is just consumed with dyes. You get so many. And I forget how many you get in this set. But it's so worth it. So worth it. And so I have... Well, this is called, I don't know what it's called. Well, it's dealing with the garden. So, people, you, you have to get some of X cut dies. Just wonderful. I'm going to set that right there. Okay, so back to seed packets. I ordered from a site called Whimsy Stamps. Because I wanted, I really wanted this 
seed packet here that states all things grow with a love and when I got it I was kind of disappointed that their stamps come mounted together and you have to cut out but then I realized you know what I like that and I'll show you why when I show their other the other stamps I got from this site but this was I believe 1050 and they have another set like this it's a vintage well this is vintage as well I think I'm gonna go back and get that so I picked up that now from kitchen sink stamps as well this is their seed packet um, stamp set here now this is a small set but let me tell you out of all the seed packets I got and I will be doing a video comparing the different seed packets that are out there the ones at least that I have their set may be the smallest <laughs> But her images are the biggest. You can't tell. But in order to use this set here, I mean this stamp right here is huge compared to other um, stamp sets I got. I actually measured it out before. Look at that long border there. And so she has a coordinating seed packet die, but unfortunately I, for some reason, could not download it. And she stated it was perhaps because she made that that file on an Apple computer and I'm using Windows but anyway I um, I have dies that I could use that with my nice sentiments there so you can use this to create a variety of different C packets so kitchen sink stamps I have to once again go back and and definitely order from her Okay, and so I picked up Magnolia, the seeding Tilda, since I'm in the whole spirit of gardening. So she is sowing seeds. Now this is by Hampton Art, and this is a new set. I got this from Etsy. And they have several images, carrots, cabbage, and then they have this seed packet image there so this was quite different from the other seed packets I got yeah but I picked okay so I ordered a seed packet from another company I'd never heard of this company before called Walting Mouse Stamps you see how big that is that's huge you get a lot of nice images I actually I'm gonna be placing an order real shortly for their mason jars I fell in love with this um, set here. Their seed packet is actually larger than paper tray inks. And when I say seed packet, the actual stamp that makes the frame, like paper tray inks, their seed packets can fit on a baseball card size or ATC or one of the pockets making the pocket letters. But this one is slightly bigger. But I want to do a comparison between this set and this small set here you would think <laughs> that this the larger this set was larger than this set and it is with some images but actually this banner and this border here is larger than any image here I did the measurements let me see if you can see this see this border right here I'm gonna line it up with this image here and you see how much bigger that border is yeah so this set will require it, it will make a larger um, seed packet but I love it all it's all fabulous okay and so I like I said anybody who had a seed stamp I ordered it this is from Stampin Up and this was made in 1994 <laughs> I got it from Etsy and it makes little bitty seed packets it's like a rubber foam so you have your red rubber backed on the foam and so I did play around with this once again I didn't even keep my um, my prototypes but I picked that up I paid 20 bucks on Etsy and this is a you know it's not made anymore so like a collectible Okay, so I picked up this small seed packet by Two Paper Divas. I got this from Joann's. 
Now, this is really lovely. It's one of the smaller seat packets, but if you have those mini tildes, they look gorgeous inside of this stamp here. So worth getting. They just came out with a larger seat packet. I don't think I'm going to get that one. It's basically only the frame, but who knows? I might end up getting it. Okay, so from W plus 9, I also picked up their die for their seed packets and this will work with not all of the seed packets I have because the wall team mouse theirs is is too big and the kitchen sink is too big but it'll work with the others and so this is just a great you know let me show you now I was playing around but this is how the actual envelope looks it's really cute paper tray ink theirs was not in stock when I placed my order but I might go back and get theirs because theirs don't have that ruffling or that scalloped edge. So that's the size of it. You can fit gift cards in here, um, ATC size cards in here. So that's what this die makes. And also from W plus nine. Now I got this from one, two, three sticks. It's a seed packet and they had it on clearance for like, eleven dollars I think um so I've noticed that some clear stamps they stain like this is stained it still works some stain and some don't I don't know what that's about but anyway I do like this set when you order from paper tray ink they do a wonderful presentation um they wrap their items in white tissue paper I mean it's so elegant when you get your dyes you'll probably get them in an envelope like this but they come in plastic plastic bags and so this set went with one of the garden variety sets you get the fork and the, the little hand shovel and that is the watering can and I forgot oh, these are the gloves and then these are the two dies for the seed packets here you can create like an additional frame by using these. I did so I got some other dies. I don't know which ones these are. So this set came in the larger envelope. Oh, this set here goes with uh, the year, the year of flowers. So I got at least twelve dies in there. This one was the vegetable garden variety die. Okay, I'll show these other two a little later. Okay, so moving into the area of sewing. Oh, I saw this set and I had to pick it up. Paper tray ink. It was $15 and it's called Hanging by a Thread. So you get different spools that have, these are stamps, that has different um, like designs on it. It looks like this. Now they're on the smaller size, but they're so cute. And I have the coordinating dies here that goes with that. I got three dies. I forgot how much the dies cost. But so, so, so cute. And then I also picked up Button Boutique. This is so adorable. <laughs> oh, yeah. There is a die you can buy with this, but I didn't get it because I have, like, dies that cut out the ATC size cards. And so, but they also had a button die. Whenever you go back, it's like, I realize, I didn't know they had a die for that. But anyway, they do have a die for the buttons. I'll pick those up on my next order. But this is how it looks. It's really cute because you can design your own cards for your buttons. It was 24 bucks. Now back to X cut. I love X cut. Look at all these dies you get in this set. This set is called I can't see it. Okay. Well, anyway, it's their sewing set. Look at this dress form, and that's a pretty, you know, that's a nice size. You get these border stitches, um, dies, 
You get maybe I should open up this one as well because you get a lot for your money. And I also got this one from Amazon. I think I paid like $17 for it. Once again, when Joann's have their sale, because they do carry these, you can pick them up there. But let me show you my favorite image ever. This little hanger. I have been looking for a hanger die. And this is so cute. I'm going to show this. I'm, I'm in a swap where I use that die. And it is so cute. But their dies are just wonderful. Okay, so I'm finishing up. Now, check out this extra large stamp set. It's a sewing set. I got this from Oriental Trading. I think the regular price is 10 or 15. I paid 5 because I had a gift card they sent from the holidays. But look at that large sewing machine. You can easily create digital die cuts to go with these images. So cute. Look at this phrase, handmade with love, and it's stitched. You got buttons. You got thread, you got um, these border stamps here. You just, you get a lot. My only, and it's not a complaint, but these flowers should have had stitching on it. That would have just sealed, sealed it all. Very cute. Look at this pin cushion here. Just really, really, really cute. Oriental trading. Okay, so I also picked up this set by Amy Tangerine, Amazon. I paid like $7.50 or $8 bucks for it. And it has a stitched frame, some scissors, and I'm not sure if this heart die makes confetti, how that's going to turn out. But it has a word die that says Lucky on it. And this was called, I don't know. I don't know what it's called, but that's from Amazon. Okay, you guys, so I have another haul I'm going to be showing. I actually got my order in yesterday from Paper Tray Inc. They're mason jars, and I got their market um, shaker kit. And so, but I'm going to hold off on showing that until I get my other mason jars in. Well, I thank you guys for tuning in, and, you know, I, I would say to you guys... If you're going to spend your hard-earned money or your husband's hard-earned money or boyfriend, whatever, make sure you invest in those things that represent you and what you love to do. So I hope you guys have found this video inspiring. Do have a blessed day. Bye-bye.